If we go back and we take a look at particles for a second, and we have two particles. We have one particle right here that we'll call particle A. And particle A is located uh, a certain distance away from this origin. And the origin right here is called O. And the distance it's away from the origin is XA. And we have another particle, a particle right here that we call particle B. And this particle is located from the same origin, it's located XB, a distance of XB away from the origin. Now, this entire distance is XB, while this distance is XA. So the distance between A and B right here is XB, this total distance, minus the distance of XA. So it's XB minus XA. And this is the relative position coordinate of B with respect to A. And we can also write this as X B over A. So what we have, we have this equation X B over A is equal to X B minus XA. And this holds true when, whenever you see a subscript like this. This first subscript, the B, is your first term, and your second subscript, your second subscript, which is under the dividing sign A, is the second term. Now, if we go ahead and we differentiate this term with respect to time, we're going to, we're going to get the velocity of B with respect to A is equal to the velocity of B minus the velocity of A. And if we go back and we differentiate this again, we're going to get the acceleration of B with respect to A is equal to the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A. And because a lot of times people don't like dealing with negative signs, we can rearrange these equations and we can get uh, we can get XB is equal to X B over A plus XA and here we can get VB velocity of B is equal to the velocity of B with respect to A uh, plus VA and we can get the acceleration of B is equal to the acceleration of B with respect to A plus the acceleration of A. So these are equations we can use and simple example let's say our velocity A we're going to define this as our positive direction. And A is moving with a velocity of 3 meters per second. And B is moving in the other direction. B is moving in this direction towards the left at a velocity of 5 meters per second. So our VA, our VA, is equal to 3 meters per second and our VB, our velocity of particle B, is equal to minus 5 meters per second because it opposes our positive direction. So if we want to find the, let's look at the velocity of B with respect to A, we're going to have the velocity of B with respect to A is equal to the velocity of B minus the velocity of A. And this is going to be velocity of B minus 5 minus the velocity of A is 3 uh, meters per second. And we get an answer of minus 8 meters per second. So if you're a car 
and we'll just use points for cars right now, and you're car A, and you're moving at 60 miles an hour, and another car passes you, and this car is moving at uh, 70 miles an hour, what does it look like to you? Well, the velocity of car B with respect to A, which is your car, so the velocity of the other car with respect to your car is going to be equal to uh, VB, the velocity of the other car, minus the velocity of your car. And this is going to be equal to 70 minus 60. And, and this is 10, 10 miles an hour. So it makes sense. The other car is going faster than you. And because you're going 60 miles an hour, and the difference between you is only 10 miles an hour, it seems like the car is only going faster than you by 10 miles an hour. Now, if we had looked at this the other way, and we want to see what the car, uh, the velocity of your car is, the velocity of A with respect to the, the other car, we have the velocity of A minus the velocity of B, and we get 60 minus 70. And if you think about this, this makes sense. This is minus 10 miles per hour. And this is, this makes sense because if you're looking at this from the perspective of the other driver, the other driver is going past you and you're getting farther and farther behind him at what seems to him like minus 10 miles per hour. And this is, this is what relative, relative motion is.